If you love the underwater world, then you've come to the right channel. Today we are looking at the Five Fish V6 Expert underwater drone. So previously these underwater drones have been called ROVs, remotely operated vehicles, and they've really only been accessible to like research institutions and the government and the military because the technology used to be so expensive. But recently a company called QIC has brought this technology to the consumer market at a pretty affordable price. I wanna show you this Five Fish V6 Expert. So this is an omnidirectional drone. Omnidirectional means the drone can turn in any direction and can also move in any direction. So like you can pivot the drone to look down at the bottom and then you can move it along sideways, forwards, backwards, however you like. You can pivot it up like if you were looking at a boat hull and you can move it along in that direction if you were doing an inspection under a boat, if you're inspecting like the seawall or a dam or something like that. Look at that omnidirectional so you can go backwards forwards you can go right you can go left you can look up you can look down with this drone you can even do this and do like a rotational so this drone can literally move in any direction you need it to so on my youtube channel we do a lot of search and recovery underwater we look for lost items we look for treasure and things like that so for that purpose the five fish has a robotic arm attachment. So you put this on the bottom of the five fish and then you can open and close this claw here from the controller and you can actually go down, grab things on the bottom, lift them up, bring them back to us on the surface. So this is really awesome for treasure hunters and people who are doing search and recovery underwater. So the drone is controlled from this remote here. It's got two joysticks on it, which gives you that omnidirectional movement. It's got a whole bunch of other buttons on here. It's got like a depth lock on it. It's got position lock. It also has this little toggle switch here, which allows you to pilot the drone in a couple different modes, like a beginner mode, an expert mode, and it even has a first person view mode. So with the first person view, you can put your phone in this mask here, put it on your head, and it looks like you are in the water inside controlling the drone. And another really cool feature that this has, it, it actually links up with the gyroscope in your phone. So while you're wearing this, in order to position the drone while you're looking around like this, it actually senses the position of your head and it will pivot the drone according to the same position that you have your head in. So it almost feels like you're underwater looking around with the drone. It's a really amazing feature. The Five Fish underwater drone connects to the remote using this cable here. So Five Fish sends you the cable on a reel, which is really nice. It helps you keep the cable tidy all the time and it allows you to only pull off the reel how much cable you actually need. The cable has a nice like cinch loop here, which attaches to the fin on the drone. So it gives you a very secure connection to the drone. So if something did happen to the drone, which is unlikely, you could grab the cable and pull the drone back using the cable and it's not actually putting any stress on the waterproof connector. All the stress would be going on this loop here, which is attached to the tail of the drone. So that's a really nice feature. It makes me feel really safe when I'm using this drone that I know I'll always be able to retrieve it and get it back to me. Okay, so we're gonna lower this down off the dock here very carefully. Now the cable, it does say in the instruction is rated to hold it. So we're gonna bring it down very slowly and gently into the water. On the drone here, you've got the camera in the front. The camera is a 4K camera and it does shoot in higher frame rates too. So you can get that slow motion video. Also, we've got two lights here that we can turn on and off and it has a combined 6,000 lumens of light. So that's really, really good for when you're diving down in dark areas. I've been diving this drone down in murky water and you go down a few feet and you start to lose the sunlight. You really depend on these lights here. The drone has six thrusters on it. So the different positioning of the six thrusters is what gives this drone its ability to move in any direction. So it takes six thrusters to do that. Also, Five Fish sent me these weed guards because I'm using this drone for searching underwater for lost items. And when you search for lost items, you basically have to stay right near the bottom. A lot of the lakes and the canals I've been operating in have a lot of weeds and muck in them. So we need to protect the thrusters. So we have these weed guards added to all the thrusters. So I've ran this thing into some thick weeds and I've always been able to get it back. I do have to clean off the weed guards sometimes after using it, but it really, really is nice to use these weed guards. I have not had to take a prop out of any of the thrusters yet. On the underside of this drone here, we have a hard point for mounting the tools. So there's a whole bunch of different tools that are available for the Five Fish Expert underwater drone. 
I have the underwater robot arm for search and recovery, but there's like water samplers, there's mud samplers, there's fish catchers. There's all kinds of things for commercial purposes like aquaculture, water inspection, wastewater treatment, anything like that this drone could be useful for. It, there's a whole bunch of different tools for it. Also on the underside of the drone, you have this port here, and this port is where the SD card slot is. I think it takes up to 128 gigabyte SD card, which is really nice. You need a lot of uh, storage on there for this 4K camera. On the back of the drone is another waterproof connector. That's where the cable attaches to. And like I told you earlier, the cable has a little loop on it which attaches to this fin of the drone. And this fin is kind of like another hard point on the drone you can lift it from. Now let's get the drone out in the water and we're gonna do some real life search and recovery tests with the Five Fish underwater drone. So we're gonna practice recovering some lost items. So we're gonna start right here with this gangster gold chain. So I'm gonna take this and throw this in the water and hopefully we'll be able to get it back out with the five fish. All right. So I launched it out there about 20 feet. We kind of know where it's at, but I'm gonna get on the drone. We're gonna find it underwater completely using the drone only and recover the chain. So it did take me a few minutes of searching to find the chain. The weeds are pretty thick here and they do kind of swallow up items on the bottom, but the 4K camera makes it really easy to look for those details on the seafloor. I did find the chain and my first attempt at grabbing the chain was a failure because I didn't anticipate how much silt the thrusters would stir up. So once you get the five fish near the bottom, the five fish thrusters kind of push the water all around and you do lose visibility pretty quickly. So when you're going down to grab something off the bottom, you do need to be uh, very precise and you also need to be quick. You need to get down there, grab it and get up out of the way before you really stir the bottom up and it gets in your way. We gotta get it right this time. So I'm gonna open the jaw up a good ways, not too far though. Okay, point it in, very precision on the charm. Okay, close it and back it up. Oh, I missed it, you, oh. Okay, open it up again. Let's drop it in. Oh, I got it, got it, okay, bring it back. Oh, bring her up, yes, we've got it. I've got it for sure. Pulled the drone out, we got the gold chain. I'm gonna go ahead and open the jaw up and release the chain. So here we go, open the jaw. We're gonna make this next challenge a little bit harder. I'm gonna throw this knife out here. It is a very small knife. It may sink down into the mud, but it does have a yellow handle. So hopefully we'll be able to get it back out and not litter the lake. Honestly, I will get this thing back out even if I have to go swimming for it, okay? But I'm gonna take this knife and throw it in here, ready? I have to grab it from the right angle. So let's move in, let's see it. Okay, this is gonna be pretty tough and if I grip too much of the bottom, the drone may struggle. Oh, look at that, the knife is moving around with the thruster, so it's very light. So this is gonna be a very delicate operation. So let's move it into position. Look at that, the knife's getting all pushed around. Okay, close it. We're gonna go back. All right, we got it for sure. This drone looks like some kind of robot holding a weapon. What I really like about this drone is it gives me the ability to do search and recovery videos underwater in canals and lakes that I would otherwise not want to go into. So I'm in South Florida and we do have a lot of canals that have alligators in them, they have snakes in them. So they're kind of dangerous. You really don't want to go swimming in them. A lot of waterways are contaminated by pollutants and bacteria. So you can get really bad ear infections. You can get brain eating amoebas. You can get flesh eating bacteria on you in the waterways here, especially in the warmer parts of the year. So it really is nice to have this underwater drone so I can stay safe out of harm's way. I can send the drone in. I can get that view underwater and I can even recover things using the robotic arm, which is which is absolutely amazing. I mean, this type of technology, you know, 20 years ago would have been million dollars to have a robot that you can search underwater with, with 4K resolution, just unbelievable. It's amazing that Five Fish was able to bring this to the common man like me. So I'm really enjoying this a lot. 
I really like how easy it is to set up and use. Uh, connecting the app to my phone, connecting it to the controller, the controller to the Five Fish itself was was all really easy to do. So you know, I've used other types of like aerial drones before, and I've had a lot of like glitches and connection issues. This thing was very, very easy. It all worked right away, so it's very easy to set up. So I think this thing is really gonna be great for people who wanna see underwater get underwater, but maybe they can't due to physical limitations. You can get a five fish, go out, explore underwater. Obviously, it's good for people like me who wanna do things underwater in maybe more dangerous areas that you wouldn't actually wanna swim in. And then obviously, this is gonna be great for you know commercial industry, uh, water treatment, aquaculture, things like that where you need to send a robot in and have a whole bunch of different tools that you can attach to it. So I'm really, really impressed with the Five Fish. It's absolutely amazing. You should definitely go check out the Five Fish. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe if you wanna check out some of my other videos. Thanks again, guys. Now go get underwater and explore.